That's a lot of stuff. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay then. So this used to be my office trailer at our old house. Well, I didn't have room for an office inside the house, so I bought this trailer, it's air conditioned, has lots of outlets in it, and we set up a couple computers in here and use this. When we moved to the new house, I've got an office, and this became the junk storage trailer. And it's got a ton of crap in here. I'm gonna work on getting all this out of here, and I wanna turn this into my bug out hurricane RV trailer, because hurricane season's coming up. It's actually started now, and I gotta get all this stuff done. I gotta get all this junk out of here, figure out how to put two, two queen beds. I wanna get uh, like a seating area with a table and probably some sort of kitchen in here. It's only a 12 foot trailer with an enclosed V nose, which you know makes it about 15 foot. But it's gonna be a tight fit, but we'll get it done. So my oldest daughter put that on the wall above my desk about three years ago. And I couldn't bring myself to take it off. Here's the plan view of the trailer. Obviously here's the nose of it. I'm gonna put a bench at each side that will then uh, have a table in the middle that'll drop down. That will become a bed, a bed on top of that, like a bunk bed type deal. This is the first thing I'm working on, which is just a two by four frame for the back of the bench. This one goes right here. I could pocket screw it, but I don't feel like taking the time to do that because it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna clamp some blocks there to hold it and then toenail it in. So when I go put the bench in here, that's why I've got this cross piece on here, but I still want to be able to access the outlets. So I went ahead and cut uh, these circles out. And then whenever I put the bench in here, I'll cut a hole in the back of it so I can still access them. Okay, so with the back two by four framework in place in the trailer, now I'm gonna work on the box and I'm gonna cut that out of three quarter inch plywood. This is gonna be the bench and the bed.
now that my box is in, my bench seat, I'm gonna take the measurements for the back so that I can cut that out and put a piece of half inch plywood on here. Yeah, I forgot my bit. <laughs> I didn't forget it. It was right there under my nose. Ta-da! Okay, so did you not see me build the second one? Did you skip that part of the video? Okay, I must have, maybe I didn't film that part. Anyway, I went ahead and bu built the second one. They're both installed. All I've got to do to make this fully functioning is get obviously the table and I've got to get the beds put in the top. Um, well, the bed, I've got to make that bed. Um, storage in both sides. And for right now, all I want is for it to function in case a hurricane comes up. I'm not worried about it being pretty right now. I'll fix that later. If you have any suggestions about some changes maybe I should make or some additions I should put in the trailer, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Give me a thumbs up and share this video. And I'll see you next time.